have to do this? <laughs> yes. How else is Finnegan High going to get any trophies unless you guys make them? We could win them. <laughs> win them? I love your young people and your sense of humor. Finnegan High's never won anything. <laughs> but we have a trophy case. <laughs> Filled with fake trophies we make in shop class. That's pathetic. More pathetic than an empty trophy case? Yes. <laughs> and gymnastics? Do we really have to make a trophy for everything? This isn't for a trophy. I'm late for my ribbon dancing class. Do not go in there. <laughs> Seriously, it's my private bathroom. You're breaking up with me? But Hutch, I, I thought we had something special. No, you had something special. Me. And now you don't. Don't worry, Molly. I'll leave you something to remember me by. The Hutch Anderson breakup basket. <laughs> Pictures of me, a tub of ice cream, and this T-shirt. It's 100% cotton, so it'll shrink if you put it in the dryer. And you'll probably be packing on the pounds. Are you OK? No, I don't want to be alone. There, there. Derby's here for you. I wanted the ice cream. Swab. I think you're in the wrong room. You realize the Brains of Tomorrow quiz team is having its first meeting here? Yes. And you understand that the members of the team are usually academically inclined? Yes. Then why are you here? Hey, I came to join the quiz team, not answer a bunch of questions. We're never gonna win a trophy with you-know-who on the team. Who? You or Slab? Hi. Sorry I'm late. I was in the library reading the encyclopedia. Thank goodness you're here to join the Brains of Tomorrow. This is Brains of Tomorrow? I was looking for Brian's of Tomorrow. I'm changing my name to Brian. Tomorrow. One of the practice questions was, what does the DC stand for in Washington, DC? Slab said, Doug Apatow. He's so stupid. Not necessarily. Developmental psychologists theorize there are many types of intelligence. Interpersonal, spatial, mathematical, existential, linguistic, and logical. I remember them with this simple memory trick using the first letter of each word. I-S-M-E-L-L. -L, or, I smell. <laughs> Mr. Tater, tell him what you told me. I smell. There's nothing to be embarrassed about. At your age, your body's going through changes. And it might be time to try some type of antiperspirant. I use this. Estrogental Botanical Stay Fresh Stick. It never stings, even after I shave. Actually, I was going to suggest putting Adam on the quiz team. He knows everything. He didn't know about the benefits of Estrogental. But that's a great idea. 
We might even win a trophy. Except it's a student team, and I'm not a student. But nobody needs to know that. Just like nobody knows I wear a toupee. I also don't need these glasses. <laughs> these I need. Hey, Molly Dolly. I got you something. An I Heart Derby t-shirt. Thanks, but I already have a t-shirt. I Club Derby? Ow! What's going on? Yesterday you were hugging me. We even kissed. That wasn't a nightmare. <laughs> uh, occupied. Does private mean nothing to you people? Look, Derby, yesterday I was in a weak and pathetic state. I only spent time with you because my self-esteem was so low. It's higher now, despite having spent time with you. Wait. So you're saying if Hutch dumped a girl, I have a shot with her? I guess so, but for a very short window. <laughs> I'll take any window I can get. Derby, you know the rules. No looking at me. No talking to me. No pretending to study the rules so you can spend a few extra seconds near me. <laughs> and no watching me walk away. <laughs> Helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon. Each one is a noble... Slap? Gas. That's right, Slap. What's right? I was just saying I have gas. <laughs> I'm not interrupting anything, am I? Actually, you are. I was just about to punctuate juvenile wordplay with a fart. <laughs> the quiz committee is coming to scout the school sometime this week. So you need to act like a student. And I need you all to play along. Give me your lunch, nerd. <laughs> Very good, Slab. Way to be a team player. I was talking to you. <laughs> I hope you enjoy it. Mommy cut off the crusts. <laughs> I guess that teaching didn't pan out, huh? Because here you are, a student just like me. Derby, I'm just pretending to be a student. You're even in my class. Actually, you're in my class. Today, we're going to talk about the periodic table of elements. See, I told you this stuff is boring. <laughs> Adam, the tops of these paint cans just pop off. You don't have to saw them in half. It worked. There you are, Chuck. <laughs> You've been absent for months. Actually, I'm... I was sick. Well, you've missed a myriad of lessons on a wide variety of subjects. So pay attention to this one. I'm only going to teach it once. Who has heard of the War of 1812? Hmm, sounds interesting. Chuck, are you talking in class? Yes. Did you say yes or no? Because I can't hear a thing. You get detention for confusing me. <laughs> oh, it's called dodgeball. You're supposed to dodge the ball. Bonjour, class. Bonjour. Je m'appelle Adam. 
quit it. <laughs> Psst. Let's sneak out. Don't talk to me. Mrs. Stropperson will get mad. She's scary. If you're a crow, She never takes her eyes off me. What's this? A court order granting me permission to talk to you. Okay, I guess I have no choice. Can't violate the orders of Judge Squiggle. I was thinking that you and Hutch would make a great couple. One that would never break up, leaving you brokenhearted, opening a short window of opportunity for someone else. Yeah, well, I've given up on Hutch. He's just not interested in me. Me! I mean, look at me. I didn't mean actually look at me. Don't worry. I can help you with Hutch. this going to attract Hutch? He's not made of metal. Ivy? I didn't know you were into magnets. I love magnets. Do you want to go hang out and talk magnets? Sure. Actually, let's talk magnets over dinner. Today, we're going to be learning about Chemistry. I can't take being a student anymore. When is the quiz committee going to be here? Oh, they were here two days ago. We're all good. What? Why didn't you tell me? Because I forgot. So does that mean Adam can be on the quiz team? Yep. In fact, you should go practice with your partner. <laughs> yes. Slab. <laughs> Echo, did I mention you're off the team? No. I really could use some sort of memo pad. Why would you get rid of Echo? We need Slab. He's intimidating to the other team. Echo, you're not as smart as Adam or as scary as Slab. You serve no purpose. <laughs> <laughs> OK, but still not quite as scary as Slab. <laughs> We'll do just fine. I'm happy being an alternate. But if Slab is injured, you'll be back on the team. And we'll be partners. Partners. You and me. Partners. Partners. In you go. When you're done saying partners, you may want to look over there. Slab is coming. Oh. Look down. More reading? I'm just gonna hope it's some nerd's lunch. Yuck. There are bits of anvil all over this sandwich. Give me your lunch, Ken. <laughs> Brian. Sorry, I'll get it. A chocolate bar? That's not mine. That's correct. <laughs> A golden ticket? I never learned to somersault. That's right, young lad. I'm Billy Bonkers, and you've won an exclusive tour of my chocolate factory. Humpa lumpa, what did he do? The tour is scheduled for the same time as the Brains of Tomorrow quiz travaganza. I trust that won't be a problem. I'd skip that in a second to tour of Chocolate Factory 
It's always been a dream of mine. Amazing! Fan Goobleus! Spectacular! tucular But I can't. This isn't really mine. It belongs to Brian. <laughs> Send me a postcard from the Nougat River. So, Ivy, you ready to go out for dinner? Why go out? Table for deux? It doesn't look like the Dizzes showed up. Can we have their table? But of course. Would Mademoiselle care to try our famous French onion, garlic, and skunk soup? Actually, I. Oh no! Mademoiselle! She has the stink breath. I suppose we'll be dumping her now. We haven't even talked magnets yet. We'll just have stink breath together. <sighs> Would the handsome senora like to buy some non-poisonous flowers for the lovely bambina. No poison at all. Won't cause the itching or the nausea or the uncontrolled sweating. That sounds great. There you go. These are for you. No, thanks. What? I mean, a what? I know this great magnet store on the way home. I'd rather get a little skunk magnet to remember our evening by. <laughs> Oh, in that case, you take these. <laughs> Whoa, the itching, the nausea, the uncontrolled sweating. Take control of that sweating with new extra strength estrogental. Available where regular estrogental is sold. Welcome, everyone to the Brains of Tomorrow quiz travaganza between Finnegan High and Western High. Finally, a chance to win a real award. Because tomorrow I'm supposed to pose for a girl's swim team trophy and I'm feeling a little bloated. Let's get started with our first question. The category is chemistry. It's pronounced chemistry. <laughs> Helium, neon, argon, krypton. <laughs> Finnegan, helium, neon, argon, krypton, xenon, and radon are all examples of... Words. That's correct. I'm being told that's incorrect. What's going on? I don't know. Maybe Adam's setting them up for a dramatic finish or something. Next question, history. What was the name of the war fought in 1812? <laughs> How is anyone supposed to know that? <laughs> Ken. Uh, no. Brian. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You say you're sorry, but you don't look like you really are. Doing. I'm throwing the game. If you can't win a trophy, then I don't want to win one either. But if no you... speaking to Chuck. <laughs> I was just trying, trying to feed him the answers. <laughs> Not on my watch, Missy. <laughs> okay. Going into the final question, we're tied at zero zero, thanks to Finnegan's stupid answers and Western mostly peeing themselves. <laughs> You never heard of an adult diaper? We can still win. The category is physics. What do you call the repetition of sound caused by the reflection of sound waves? That's right. I'm doing this for you, Echo. Too late, Chuck. Echo is the correct answer, but it was after the buzzer. No one wins. Looks like I'll be melting this down for teeth. You see that? I lost. Why did you do that? For you. 
I'm an alternate. If you had won, I'd have gotten a trophy too. Uh... <laughs> I hadn't thought of that. <laughs> That's actually kind of funny in an ironic way. I think we'll be laughing about this for a long time, partner. <laughs> Stop! I'd like to congratulate Finnegan High's first ever trophy winner! Good job, partner! Three days. Would you two break up already? What? We're never gonna break up. Ivy's a great girl. I really like her. What did you say? You like me? I thought you were different than other guys. I can't be with a guy who likes me. We're done so. What? Done so. Are you okay, man? No! I don't want to be alone! <laughs>